I guess the messaging around biome at the moment is is pretty um, at the forefront of most people's minds. And yeah. you were really ahead of the game because, I mean, your book, um, If Our Bodies Could Talk, that I read some years ago, um, was very entertaining, but along those thoughts. So in a lot of ways, you were ahead of your time. Um, well, thank you. Um, you mean in terms of uh, speaking about the the li likelihood of a pandemic? Yeah, and I think, um, I mean, back then, just stop and think about, you know, what you're eating, stop and think about what you're putting um, on your skin and, you know, small steps. Yeah. And I think, you know, that messaging is right on song right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a lot of, you know, I mean, I, I hope it's not complicating anyone's vision because I understand there are still a lot of people who just need to be reminded that the virus is dangerous and, uh, you know, even that simple of a message is hard to communicate to a lot of people. But I'm finding that there are also a lot of people who really want to think about the complexity of the microbial world and, you know, how truly interesting it is that most microbes are not bad. Um, many are, in, in, in fact, good and helpful to us. And that is not at odds with the fact that many microbes also can kill us. <laughs> and mm. it's that, that, that complexity, you know, it mirrors obviously so much of life that, and so much of the messages we see in health that um, something is not simply good or bad all the time for everyone, <laughs> that everything depends on context, how we use things, how much we do things, um, when we do things um, for our health. And I think that's, that's kind of the overall message of both of my books. Yeah, so in Clean, I really, one of the things that I love about that book is that it's a, a sort of a common sense approach, really. It's not an all or nothing. So it's not like you need to go and throw everything out. It's a slow, you know, wean yourself off of what you've got. And that sort of messaging for me works really well. Yeah, good. Um, thank you. Yeah, I it, it, I, I, everyone seems to want to quit cold turkey, but I definitely don't recommend that. What's your view on hand sanitizers? Oh, uh, I think they're great. Yeah. I think they work well and are important. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think of the hands as completely apart from any of my other ideas about uh, minimalism you know I think we still don't you know that's still an, a, cleaning your hands is still really important to preventing spread of infectious disease specifically to yourself you know I, mm. I think um, we don't realize how often we touch our faces and how often we um, you know touch something that might have some microbe on it not just coronavirus but you know all kinds of different things and then you rub your eye or uh, touch your lip put it on, putting on some product or something and um, before you know, you know, you, you are the one who's made yourself sick and mm. washing hands and hand sanitizer is um, the, one of the most effective ways we know to, to prevent that from happening. And, and I, I so, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. That's for me, the, the one area that's important. Although I typically try only to use sanitizer when I'm out and about in a public area at home and at work, I tend to just use a, a good quality soap. Yeah, you know, I think uh, they both have their pluses and, and, and minuses, but in terms of preventing disease, yeah. um, that's great. So, um, James, do you know much about Manuka honey and the effect on the skin? No, I was no. Uh, fearing this question because I don't think I have anything <laughs> intelligent to say, but no, I, no. I'd be curious what you uh, could tell me. Ah, so, um, well, Manuka honey is in, you know, it comes from New Zealand. It comes from Manuka bush. We have Manuka bushes at home and Manuka honey at home. Topically, as a topical application, it seems to have the ability to um, know the difference between, you know, eliminating what's bad and growing what's good. But the best thing is that it's a humectant, so it will hold its weight in water. So in an area, for instance, in Elsa, 
for, let's say in our case, um, an acneic spot, um, if we've got active acne, we, we know that if we use a combination of Manuka honey on the, on the acne after extracting um, and then use blue light, that we can get a really good result naturally. <laughs> so using a combination of the two applications um, helps to avoid somebody perhaps taking antibiotics. And whilst we know it's hormonal and there are other reasons that there is an acne skin, we find if we can control it um, using Manuka honey and blue light that um, you know we end up getting a really good result and a whole lot less invasive. And again, if we clean the skin in terms of using um, Manuka and we keep on top of it, it seems to stop the reoccurrence. Mm. 